What's up, YouTube? Working on a seafood case. As you can see, check my case. I got good airflow across. This one had a filter dryer on there before you get to the TSV. Uh, if y'all haven't watched other videos, I was having trouble with uh, other TSV strainers uh, getting clogged up at another store. And usually, I would go with this option to help clear up the trash. But this side feel cold. This side feel pretty warm and all. So I'm gonna get uh, the difference in the temps. See if I can or see if they correlate with the, each other. Uh, I haven't even went to the right yet. As soon as I got in the store, I went here. So, and it's the only case that's like high temping. So this side I was getting about 76 or so. This side I'm getting about low 60s. measuring across from here to this uh anytime you have a, pr a pressure difference you know it's partially clogged now i'm checking this side uh, this is the liquid that's coming in this way and you see what the arrows point in that direction about 88 y'all do the math 88 minus about 62 that's a huge huge difference Anyway, I'm gonna go to my rack just to make sure everything running and then uh, probably pump this down and uh, change it. Tight behind space. Anyway, this is our circuit. This is our suction line right here. It don't feel that cold. Of course, it ain't sweating. It should be these other lines are cold. They feel cold. Uh, let me get back with y'all. I'm gonna just hook up my gauges, see what my pressures and all that at, and I'm gonna get back with y'all. Make sure everything running like it's supposed to. Make sure I got gas in this rack. And uh, yeah, she feel good. Line temp and all. Sight glass right here so I can see if it's flashing or not. But anyway, yeah. All right, guys. So I got my gauges hooked up on my suction. And then I got my gauges hooked up on the liquid. Now, look at the pressure. We got plenty of good, good pressure going to that case. And just a few minutes ago, I rechecked my temps and the liquid that's coming in, I'm getting about 88. And then the one that's coming out on the other side of the filter is like around like 60, 66 to 68 degrees. So that's a huge pressure drop. Uh, normally across your dryers, you want the same temp. It'd be probably like a degree off, maybe two, but you want it very close as possible very close but anyway like i said i'm about to pump this circuit down and all that um and uh just go from there so i'm probably gonna get my torch see if i got a filter on my van change that bad boy out weld it in and uh just go from there again make sure you always hook up to the right circuit make sure you locate your circuit make sure uh you hitting the right liquid line. Sometimes these lines can be offset it, um, but it's way better racks. Maybe if I go to them stores, maybe like food lines or something, I can show y'all cause it's way cleaner. Everything is literally right there. These type of racks and stuff, man, everything is like all over the place like this one. But this one might be a good example over here. Yeah, this, this, this like a good example. So all them lines back there are your liquid lines. The back ones are your liquid lines. This is your suction. This one have hot gas, so I got an extra pipe uh, going into it. So what it uh, would do, it will, um, I think it normally close uh, this and leave the uh, discharge line open. You're gonna have hot gas coming in the suction and then it's gonna exit out the discharge. Uh, I mean the liquid side. Hopefully I'm saying it right. But, um, yeah. So it's a liquid line right here. This your suction right here. Your suction will always be big and your liquid will always be pretty small. So I like racks that's like this. You got more organized racks, but hey, also everything looking good all my compressors running they are only calling for two right about now 
well, three right now, one, two, and three, the contactor is pulled in. So it kind of alternate in between in the sequence. All right, guys, so I got my vacuum pump, got my torches, got my filter dryer, and that's the case right there. So we're going to go ahead and attack her. Guys, so I'm going to have my TSV screen out. I guarantee it's clean. <clears throat> yes, yeah, it's, it's clear. See, um, this collect all the trash before it gets uh, to here, so it's clean. No issue there. Real clean. You can see through it. Um, I'm about to sweat this out. Uh, normally you could put like a rag right here. I think I'm gonna just put a rag right here just in case just for safety measures So I can just keep that valve uh, nice and cool uh, But it shouldn't take me that long uh, to change this out. I want to move this bar out the way But this thing will all the way down. We got product still and I wasn't going moving and stuff. So I can make it work Do I have knee pad for your knees? And uh, let's get it All right guys, so I got the old one out all right guys so i got the dryer fitted all nice and snug now i'm finna weld her up heat her up real good make sure i get it good on the bottom side work it around and uh go from there all right guys these are my welds don't judge me it ain't that perfect all right guys so i added pressure on the line i'm finna go back down and see if i see any uh leaks and I'm going to check my uh, temp difference and uh, go from there. What's up, guys? So I'm editing this video right now, uh, but I want to, uh, you know, just to have everything cleared out. I just came here for a seafood case. And when I got here, I found a stocked up uh, liquid line dryer. Uh, my temperature managed to come down, but it was sitting around like 15 to 17 degrees. It wouldn't even come down and all. And uh, the manager came to me saying that the dairy case and uh, meat cases was running a uh, high temp. And I was checking the dairy case, making sure the temps were correlating with my digital gauge, making sure the readers is accurate. Um, but it was sitting around like 40, 42 degrees for the dairy. And then the meat, that thing was like 45 to 50. And they all on the same rack that I'm working on, D-Rack, and I had mentioned that the sight glass was uh, flashing bad. Uh, so I checked them cases, went to the rack, uh, did a leak check. Um, yeah, y'all gonna see. But I'm finna go to the store right now to pull the uh, thing that we need to pull, which y'all will see towards the uh, end of the video if y'all continue watching. Uh, but I just wanted to clarify that. So this came for one case and then other cases went down and it's the reason why. See y'all, y'all be safe. All right guys, we got zero PPM. Leak detectors can be sensitive sometimes. But I always go with uh, soap bubbles too. Guys, I'm checking these dairy case uh, temp gauges uh, cause the manager wanted me to just uh, look. He said it was temp and high. You can see it's at 41. So I'm gonna let that seafood case drop. We see food on this uh, rack. Uh, that dairy case I was checking the temp sensor is on the same rack and then the meat is on the same rack. Cause you wanted me to look at the meat too, but the meat was in defrost. So I need to make sure those are down to temp. But I need to make sure those temp gauges are reading accurate. Okay guys, so my temperature dropped over there at that case, but it was staying at around 15. I checked the rack, like I said earlier, we had 0% sight glasses flashing. But as soon as I open up this door, I'm getting something right now. So rack also low on gas. I might have to go to the nearby United. Yep. Guys, my phone just is finna die. I had put this uh, circuit in defrost. You can hear a bubbling somewhere in this area. So I need to find a leak. Y'all can hear it. Well, anyway, I might get these case tips down. So I probably gotta go by United. It's gonna be a late night for me, but hey, uh, my phone finna die, so I'll see y'all. Guys, case two is below zero, still dropping. Yeah, so I charged my phone temporarily. Uh, so I found that big leak down there. I welded up the lines. I eliminated that case. The other uh, case, which is on the same circuit, is still running. 
uh, we're going to end up pulling that whole evaporator coil. But like I said, you can hear uh, the water and all that bubbling and stuff when I put in uh, defrost. I just got some gas from a distribution company at Baker's. So I'm about to just add these two, call it a night. Um, temps and all that uh, came down. Uh, even the one I changed the filter dryer on and my multi-debt meat, dairy and all that came down. But we're gonna have to uh, come back, return, leak check. Look at the story, guys. It's, it's old and hey, it is what it is. But I'm gonna add this gas in this rack. Sight glass clear right now, but I still need to make sure a ball floating or something. So this is the case. Um, I welded the suction line right there, welded, well I just closed the valve right here and then I welded this little small line, but we have a less um, PPMs than what we had before. You still gonna have gas in there, but it was way worse, way worse. Um, still got gas in here flowing around. I gotta put this cap back on, but yeah.